Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here. Faculty, you built a bunch of stuff in your last term's courses and now you have to start all over again, right? No way, we're your friends. We wouldn't do that to you. That's why we've got cloning. It lets you move lessons, assignments, all that stuff in from previous courses. It's really easy, but there's a scary warning that trips people up. We'll talk about it. Right now, let's talk about clicking subscribe, clicking that bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, roles. You're able to do this for any previous course on which you're listed as faculty or teaching assistant, but registrars and academic admins can do this across all courses. Let's go through the interface and see where this happens. Go to the course to which you want to clone material we're gonna to go to a future course, and then we're gonna go down to settings over here on the left, and then up at the top, I'm gonna to choose clone from another course. The resulting dialog just asks you to tick the boxes for anything you want to clone into this course. The big ones here, the beetles and stones of stuff that you want to clone, that's assignments and lessons, but I wanna point something out about tests down here. All tests in Populi have to have an assignment component to them. So if you wanna clone tests in this way, you first of all need to click to clone the assignments in, and we'll do that. And you can see down here, we've got tests checked as well. So you choose any category that you're looking to clone into this course. Down here, we've got the from dropdown. This is where you choose the previous course instance from which you'd like to clone material. This is the source course. Choose whatever makes sense based on this course's history from that dropdown. Down below that, we've got a nice little caveat, a warning, a qualification. Tick the box there to indicate that you understand what's going on because there's a potential for stuff to get erased. And let's make sure that you do understand. What this message means is that anything in the categories that you check above will be erased in the course instance that you're on currently. This is the new or upcoming course. So if you have a past instance of a course in the fall and now you're teaching in the spring, you're working on the spring term and you're cloning to the spring term instance. Sometimes folks look at this warning here and think this means that we're going to delete material back on the historic instance. That's not what this means. We're working on the new instance in the upcoming term and anything you've added here to one of these categories will be deleted when you clone. So if you started creating new assignments on this new instance here, because some assignments on the instance are gonna be a bit different and you started doing that and then you clone stuff in after that, the new stuff on your new course instance would get deleted, overwritten. So if you're gonna clone things in at all, clone first and then make changes and add things. Otherwise you may end up deleting your work. That's what's going on with the scary message. Let's talk about what faculty can clone. Let's say that you taught English 101 in the fall term and you're teaching it again in the spring term. You can absolutely clone that course material from the fall term to the spring term or any other subsequent term in which you teach English 101. Let's say your teaching schedule changes. You taught English 101 in the fall term and now you're teaching English 102 in the spring term. You and I both know that a lot of the material from English 101 will be applicable on English 102 and guess what? Because you are listed as faculty on that English 101 course and on this new English 102 course, you can clone from 101 to 102. Let's look at how that will appear. You'll see this bit of text down here. Choose to clone from a different catalog course. I'm gonna select that. It's gonna allow me to choose back to fall 2022 and then I've got English 101 as an option there, even though I'm on English 102. Isn't that great? 
You as faculty can only clone things in courses on which you are listed as faculty. So now let's talk about what academic admins or registrars can clone. They can clone courses from any term in any course catalog abbreviation. So let's have a look at what the same cloning dialogue looks like if I have one of those roles. Boom, not really any different. You can see it's got the same clone from a different catalog course option. That's what you're looking for. You use that and you can use any previous course catalog instance right there. Isn't that great? So if you don't see the course abbreviation you're looking for, make sure that you're looking in the correct term. That's just a little tidbit. Okay, let's look at actually executing this change. I'm going to clone in assignments and lessons. Let's go real quick and take a look at the assignments tab. It's a dusty wasteland. Let's have a look at that lessons tab. I have one lesson here that I've named doomed because it's going to be erased when I clone in the lessons from the previous term. Then we go to settings and click clone from another course. We're going to select assignments and lessons. We've got tests down there already going. We're going to be using the previous all instance. So we're making sure that we've got the correct term selected there. Down here, yes, I understand that I'm gonna wipe out anything that's on this current instance of the course, and then I'm gonna hit save. Now let's go look at assignments. Full, fruitful, brimming. Let's look at lessons, lush and vibrant. If this video helped, click that like button and click subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. We've got some helpful materials about cloning linked down in the description. And you'll also find our social media links down there past that like button. I've been Josh for Populi and you've been great. Thanks for watching.